A blood-hungry vampire has taken over Fortnite's island, bringing his empire along to steal artifacts, not just from the present, but the past. This is the culmination of months of investigations, clues, and the ruins of an ancient society left to rot by the eclipse. The time-traveling vampire is a huge step up from last season where we never could have predicted what was about to happen. But there was one group who did know, the ancients. As Dr. Sloan was rescued from the crushed remains of her tank, she realized the world around her was completely different. A jungle filled with artifacts and relics of a distant past. She got to work analyzing the ruins, but they were so old they couldn't be dated. But there was a clue, instructions left behind, which told us how to build a stellar projector. They used this device to analyze the stars and predict future events like an eclipse. It seems this was the last thing they saw before everyone disappeared. They predicted their own destruction right before it happened. So as Sloan investigated further, she realized that the eclipse wasn't just something that happened in the past. With the device rebuilt, it showed a terrifying future. The eclipse return and it was heading straight for us with intent. Immediately, Sloan realized she needed backup and called an old friend, someone with knowledge of the eclipse of what it meant, Nolan Chance. As they planned in secret, the thing we feared finally arrived. This wasn't just an eclipse, it was a whole empire led by one man, Cato Thorne. On the surface, this extravagant owner of a resort was pretty charming. He brought business to the island, opening a grand hotel at Relentless Retreat, a block of apartments at Sanguine Suites, and building his own mansion with Eclipse Estates. Sounds peaceful until you look closer at their names. Sanguine means optimistic or positive, but it also means blood red. Kato Thorne is hiding a dark secret. In the light, he treats his guests wonderfully, but in the shadows, he feasts. If you're wondering why the season is called Last Resort, now you know. Kato Thorne also has a side hobby, which takes up most of his time, collecting. At the end of last season, we got word of a wealthy collector who was buying artifacts around the map. But he doesn't just do business, he's got a habit of stealing relics. All of this is possible thanks to his most treasured possession, the time machine. He uses this device to go back in time and steal powerful items like Oro's skull and even Midas's hand. These have the curse of the golden touch, and it's becoming clear that the other artifacts are more than just collectibles. One of these is an ancient calendar, something we have never seen before, likely taken from the jungle. The layout is pretty similar to the vault from season 8, and it has the symbols of the seven around it. All of this is circling one thing, a crown. Cato Thor knows something about this island that we don't, and he's using it for his ultimate plan. Whatever he's working on, it's causing the fate of the island to be at stake and stopping him is our last resort. Well, that's where Sloan and Nolan Chance come in. They've been quietly assembling a team in the background, studying Thorne's mansion and planning a grand heist. They've recruited the best thieves they could find, like Antonia, a master safe cracker who's quick on her feet. They also have May, an impulsive hacker who will either break into a place or blow it up. This team is crucial to saving Fortnite's island and stopping Kato Thorne's plan. But who exactly is Thorne? What does he want and where did he come from? The answer lies in his true form, the Revenant. We don't know how old Kato is. On one hand, he's a vampire and they could famously live forever as long as they feed on blood. Not to mention, Sloan recognized Thorne's signal as a very old one that she hasn't seen in a long time. On the other hand, Kato is very modern. He has a mansion, security system, and well, a time machine. He doesn't need to be ancient to collect artifacts. He just sits in the chair and goes straight to the past. Personally, I think he's only a couple hundred years old and his use of the time machine has made people like Sloan think he's ancient, when he might not be. He is obsessed with artifacts, but wherever he goes to collect them, an eclipse follows. Because of this, he has branded his entire business around it, and they only show up when it's in the sky. So what is causing this eclipse, though? Is it a natural event that he just follows, or is it something more? Could Kato Thorne use technology to block the sunlight, protecting himself from its damage? Common knowledge that vampires burn in the sun, and that's why they come out at night and creep in the shadows. If this is true for Kato, it would explain why he only appears during an eclipse, when the sunlight is blocked. They also reveal how Sloan called it an unnatural phenomenon. The eclipse is fake. That's why the ancient saw it and left warnings. He visited the reality using a time machine and stole their artifacts such as the looper calendar. They carved markings into the wall to warn people. At first we thought this drawing was a robe figure, but look closer. Those two orbs are moon phases, the arms are wings, and the crown is actually bat ears. This wasn't the cube cradle or a helmeted figure, it is Kato Thorn. We just didn't know it yet. Another huge mystery involves his origins. Vampires aren't born, they're made. So who was Thorn before the curse? Well, let's look at his name. Whenever a character has a unique name, it almost always has a secret meaning. And man, this guy 
has a theme going on. Hato is a Japanese term for way of the flowers, and thorn is, of course, the sharp part of the plant that stops it from being eaten. So it's kind of random, but when you pay attention to his necklace, it resembles, you guessed it, thorns. Could be a metaphor, but we've also had villains in the past who were basically plants. Okay, but there is one overwhelming clue that points at Kato's origin, and it might reveal his family. In chapter three, we were introduced to a character named Ronin. He was part of the Order of the Waning Moon, and in his loading screen, he revealed an entire season of chapter four years in advance. Look, you can see Steamy Springs in Mega City. So it makes you wonder, what else was he teasing? If you pay attention to his necklace, you could see the Waning Moon, a blood red crescent logo that's awfully familiar. Not to mention, both of them have Japanese names, tattoos, and white hair. Some have theorized that Ronin is Kato before he was turned into a vampire, and others think they're related. Understanding Kato's origin will bring us closer to learning his ultimate plan, which still remains the total mystery. What we do know is that Sloane's heist is gonna stop it, which means his plan involves the artifacts, or maybe the time machine. We're stealing something from Thorne, and it requires months of planning with an entire crew. Honestly, I think we're gonna take the time machine itself. Think of it this way, Fortnite has spent six years avoiding time travel. They've explored black holes, alternate realities, but never time travel. Now they have finally added it into the storyline, so it must have a big importance. If we get our hands on this device, it could lead to huge consequences. We might finally be able to undo the damage of the fracture event. For over a year, we've had to speculate about the fate of the Seven and the Last Reality. They were turned to chrome and never seen again. Throughout chapter four, we've gotten hints as to their whereabouts, but it didn't sound good. It's possible that if the rescue mission went wrong, we could reverse it and undo our mistakes using Kato Thorne's time machine. From what we could tell, this can only go into the past and not the future. When Kato steals an artifact or changes anything about the past, it would obviously open up a new timeline with the consequences. So him stealing Oro Skull wouldn't change anything in our reality, it would create a new one. Yeah, and these are the kind of things you gotta think about when you put time travel into a storyline. It's why most people avoid it. So if we went back and rescued the Seven, it would cause the story to change a lot. Let's Let's not forget, Kato Thorne knows about the Seven. His Looper calendar is an ancient prophecy showing their symbols. He also knows about Midas and Oro, who played a big part in Chapter 2's storyline when they tried to destroy the Loop. We haven't heard anything since then, but with Midas' severed hand in the collection, that makes us wonder who is this taken from. In the survey, some have pointed out this guy who is missing an arm and covering his face. You could kind of see a resemblance to Midas in this design. Could this be the snapshot it was taken from? We have no way of knowing if the hand belongs to the Midas we all know, but Fortnite keep bringing this guy back for a reason so hopefully one of these days he'll return for good. Speaking of random appearances, in the trailer, we could also catch a glimpse of one of Kato Thorne's prisoners, Bunker Jonesy. Seems like a random gag, but this actually means that Thorne is interrogating the island's inhabitants to learn more. Bunker Jonesy makes sense. He has been around for a long time and knows a lot about the island's secrets, from the Imagined Order to the reboot vans. I'm sure he's a conspiracy theorist, but those rumors in his head might just lead Kato to the deepest artifacts. It makes you wonder, with Thorne's mansion suddenly appearing on the map, it has replaced a very important location from chapter four, the Citadel, where our storyline began. This revealed the origins of the Imagined Order and introduced us to characters such as the Ageless and Stellan. This has been lurking in the background for a year and it's incredibly important due to its relation to Geno and the Seven's rescue mission. But overnight, everything we have learned and hoped for vanished, the Citadel gone, and all those answers we were waiting for, including the fate of the Oathbound, has disappeared into thin air. Hopefully, we return to this mystery before the end of the chapter. Chapter. For now, Fortnite is giving us a clear message. Ignore everything you believed and focus on Kato Thorne, our latest villain who could turn the entire story on its head. With a time machine, precious artifacts, and an eclipse on his side, he is more dangerous than we ever imagined. Will this lead us into the past with Chapter 5? Is Sloane gonna betray us again and use the time machine for herself? The answers are closer than you think. That was the Season 4 storyline explained. It's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.